and bam what is up and welcome back to nando talk we've got a very very special episode planned out for today it is thanksgiving happy holidays everybody happy thanksgiving i hope you're having a nice little turd duck and shout out my guy john madden but we've got a very special episode indeed the dolphins are still seven and three still top of the afc east and as the buffalo bills take on the detroit Lions, and as the patriots take on the minnesota vikings there is a chance that the gap in the AFC East continues to grow because the Dolphins are good and those other AFC East teams absolutely suck. So I hope we're all enjoying the holidays. I've got a special guest for me. You might be wondering why I'm sitting like an idiot right now, but it is because we've got none other than one of my best friends, man. Known this man for 10 years. Fellow bench warmer lacrosse second stringer with me. My guy. Give it up for Spencer Krimsky, baby. What is up? And bam, look at that. How are we doing? How are we doing, Spencer? Say hello to the people, man. Yeah, how's everyone doing? I'm Spencer, fellow Dolphins fan. Yes, fellow bench warmer. And we're ready, seven and three. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully the Bills lose. Hopefully the Patriots lose. I, th- I do think the Patriots are gonna lose. How you feel about our yeah. Miami Dolphins, bro? This is not your first time on the show, but it's not like your first, first like introduction for sure, yes, for sure. Yes, not show, my you know first saying, time brother? on the show. Uh, I might have said this on the show before, but you know what? Never been more excited to be a Dolphins. I've been a Dolphins fan my whole life, and we always say, you know, this is the year. This is the year. And I don't know if this is the year, but I've never been more optimistic, more confident in the team. We're looking good. You know, the offense keeps on going, and the defense can catch up to where they are, where I know they can be. We're ready to go. I love that you say where I know they can be, bro, because the potential for the defense is there. They are a little banked up, man. But they are. we do see them late game just tighten up and bring out the fury. They bring the thunder. They're like, yo, the O has been holding us alive this entire game. It's time for us to make the play. That's the beauty of this Dolphins team. Mm-hmm. For once, the offense is actually inspiring the defense rather than vice versa. You know what I'm saying? I'll say, yeah, a lot of the games, second half, the defense came, the Ravens game early in the season. Second half, defense came to life. The Lions game, we gave up scores on five of the first six drives or whatever it was. Second half came to life. Um, Hopefully, it's not always in that situation where we give up four touchdowns in the first half. But they have that in them, and and I know they do. Uh, So they just got to get a little more consistent with it. You're right. Banged up in the secondary especially. Banged up. Have Bradley Chubb, though. Uh, this pressure should start building yeah. eventually. That that pressure will help mask those secondary issues. Yeah. I, I agree, man. You know, Cater Kohu, I think he's up to the seventh ranked rookie right now, which is absolutely yeah. insane, man. As an undrafted <laughs> free agent from Texas AM Commerce, man. Yeah. Yeah. Kids balling, bro. Like the secondary, we have our flashes, man. What, what's been awesome for me is that as the offense is able to sustain drives, as we've got, you know, Jeff Wilson who just cranked out 100 yards, man, taking over this backfield. So great. Absolute beast, man. I'm so jealous <laughs> you have him in fantasy. Um, That's the guy I traded for uh, right a week before he got traded. Screw you, man. Before he got screw traded. You. you got him for so cheap, bro. Pennies <laughs> on the dollar, man. But because we have that running game activated, it allows the defense to be a little fresher. It allows them to be rested. We're sustaining drives for once, you know. So our playmakers can rest up and come out of full energy, man. So that that's why in the second half, good point. they're 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 ready to go. They're like, yo, we, we it's been a little tough, but we're, yeah, yeah. we still got some fire in us. Let's 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 let it burn, baby. That's true. And you saw even in the last game, Jeff Wilson, like it's been totally different since he's arrived. The run game has looked smooth, and they've looked fast. He's opened up Raheem Mostert. To get bigger plays, well, I, I like he that. He really yeah. has helped. I don't know if it's just the like every down roll is not like that role for Raheem Mostert. I don't know. I like him staying fresh. He's, he's but injured maybe concerns. yes, yes. Maybe it was just like he was getting tired. But either way, having Jeff Wilson, they've been a great. They've both been able to open it, each other up. I think uh, run game has been yeah totally. It's looked good over the first two games, and I, I assume it'll stay that way. I feel like I think that's a pretty consistent model there. So, so that's looking good because you, if you can win a game without Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle having huge games, and you can still put up almost forty points, I think I think your offense is okay. I just want to say I think your <laughs> offense is okay, bro. Like Tyreek, 
He's got to get more involved. He does have two touchdowns in the last two weeks. You love to see that, a man. Weird, weird thing that he doesn't catch a lot of touchdowns. I mean, he's only had two double-digit touchdown seasons with the Chiefs. One was yeah. 15, one with like 11 or something. And then it's been like 9, 7, 5, 8. And what do they have, 3, 4? It's 4 right now. Okay. You know, So it's a halfway season. Let's say he gets 8, you know, 9 touchdowns. Mm-hmm. It'll be about around par what his decent Chiefs season would be. Okay. But he'll pace, he'll lead the leagues in yards, you know. So like, it, I mean, yeah. he outpaces everybody there. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Like, he doesn't even – like, not that he doesn't need to score touchdowns, but uh, – he does. He does. He does enough. You know he does enough. He does his job. Does his job pretty well. I'll take the number one leader in, yeah, yeah. in leader in NFL receiving yards. I guess. I guess, Absolutely. bro. I, Absolutely. It's okay. Like, eh. But man, how? I, I'm not having a standard league, mm. which is like I love that obviously because you always want to have Tyreek Hill in any league, but it's like a little painful sometimes when I see him get like ten catches. Yeah, I was like ten has <laughs> extra ten points, man. But <laughs> I I love that t- people were saying that Tyreek was gonna fail, bro. That they were they, they, they were they were busting on him, and he's gonna, he looks like he's falling, bro. Okay, he's averaging 120 receiving yards a game. Yeah, we're insane, insane, and or 140 around there, from 20 to 140. Not to take this off Dolphins for literally one second, one second. But just a shout out to the Chiefs' core with like Mahomes, Kelsey, and Tyreek Hill. Everybody was doubting all of them. They were like, you know what, Tyreek's gone. It's not going to be the same. And arguably, all three of them have been just as good, if not better. Or he's having his best season. Than when they were together. So shout out all of them. Uh, like but that. yes, Tyreek Hill is that guy. For the Chiefs, for the Dolphins, he's that guy. Uh, and easy to see. <laughs> Yeah, I saw Spencer was taller than me just because his chair was higher, and I was like, "Yeah, yeah." Like, I was real, feeling powerful. Dude. Reality <laughs> check, brother. I'm about six foot, and Spencer is not not close to six feet. Five seven on a good day, baby. I didn't want to out you, bro. I, <laughs> I love myself. I'm proud of it. Short king, right here. Short baby. king, absolutely. Short king. Absolutely. Oh, sorry, bro. I, I saw you and I was like, no, I'm not gonna raise myself because that's the anti-power move. So. I like my position of power though. All right, so that means I can raise myself a little too. Just, <laughs> it was just so the people know what where where we really sat. Yeah, okay. You know, Literally, okay. Yeah, yeah. But back to football talk. Oh my god, I hate you. <laughs> well, back to football, guys. It's uh what do you think about the Dolphins this weekend? You know, against the Houston Texans. Have to feel good. They just benched. Davis Mills, they're, they did, they're playing Kyle Allen. They did just bench Davis Mills and always an adjustment. Um switching quarterbacks, yeah. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna throw shade at Kyle Allen because he could be good. You know, he, he was back up for the Patriots, right? Kyle Allen. No, 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 he was um he's like a Ron Rivera guy. He was on the Panthers, then he went to the Commanders. Oh, oh yes, you're right. Yeah, that yeah, Kyle Allen. That you're Kyle right. Allen. That, you're thinking, thinking of Kyle Orton, maybe? No, no, that was Broncos. So yeah, Broncos, another, Bills. There yeah. is another Allen that was on the Patriots that wasn't mm. good, dude, who went to Arkansas. Okay. Uh, no, Arkansas. No, no, that's the guy who I thought went to Arkansas. Anyways, gotcha, anyways, anyways not, doesn't this Kyle Allen doesn't necessarily strike fear into into the heart not uh, really much, no. of me or I don't think the Dolphins team. But that being said, an important game. Got to come out strong. I think we will come out strong. Hopefully the defense puts up a good effort. You know what I mean? I think this is a good like test for the defense. You know, they have a team that's struggling. Just replace their quarterback. Yeah. Like a spot where you probably should win. Go and see if you can do your job. You know what I mean? Hold them back. Like make sure it's an easy win. It's not. It's not tough. You know what I mean? You'll get your stops. Everybody knows that you're there. And we'll go home happy. We'll go home happy, man. <laughs> I mean, like, hard rock against the Texans, man. They're nothing is, is too scared against, you know. They are another team like the Browns, like the Bears, who have their identity in the running game. But as I like Damon Pierce, bro. I like him. <laughs> but it's he's a violent runner. He's a young guy, but he's just not good enough. And that's I think that's – Pretty consistent key with the Texans. Right, he's pretty good. He's pretty no, good. I mean, like, not good enough to beat the Dolphins. By team. himself. Yeah, 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 he's a great player. Don't get me wrong. But Damon Pierce, Brandon Cooks, Nico Collins, that's not enough mm-hmm. firepower to keep up with Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle, with Jeff Wilson, Raheem Mostert are doing. Like, what it's, they're doing, yeah. 
give me two over Kyle Allen any day of the week, twice on Sunday, 15 times on Thursday, and 47 times on Monday, baby. Like it's <laughs> it's I'm getting to it every single time. 47 every, Mondays. <laughs> 47 times on Monday. The yeah. extra day to prepare for Tua. Like it would go yeah, to waste. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Kyle be like, the plays? <laughs> I must learn the plays again. But see, no, I think I think come down to, that's what it comes down to at the bottom. I think I trust now, and like I'm amazed and so happy that I can say this. But I trust that the Dolphins can probably score close to 30 in any given week. I like that. Right? Not that it's gonna happen every week. But I feel confident that the team is capable of scoring of scoring 30 points in any given week. And I don't feel the same way about the Texans right now. Uh, and I think that's what it comes down to. So if we play up to again what we know we can play at. If we just if we play good Dolphins football, we should have it. I don't want to underestimate the Texans, but we should we should have it. Oh, exactly. Like, I'll take it. I'll say that. <laughs> well, what you got for score, you know. Score again, honestly, hopefully somewhat similar to last week's score. Last week it was 39-17. I'm thinking something along like 35-17, maybe 31-17. Yeah, the last time the Dolphins played, I get what you're saying. Like the last Dolphins games, we, we were off the bye, but like. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm maybe 31-17. Uh comfortable win. You know what I mean? And, and it's not gonna be like it was close the whole game and we scored a garbage time touchdown. Yeah. Like we'll have the lead like that for most of the fourth quarter. I had forty two to eighteen. I have again. Ooh, okay. I get this weird score. Again, I don't really know how you get to eighteen sometimes, but <laughs> um, it'll happen, guys. It could happen. It'll it could happen. You know, I need safety. I need to see the Dolphins putting <laughs> points up there, man. Again, I like that you bring up the Browns game because, as Dolphins fans, the Browns game to us was a sign that this is a different Miami team. In the past, you know, Dolphins would play down the level of their opponent. And this time against Cleveland, them. we smoked them, man. We did Easy. exactly what you need to do against a bad team, and it just beat the absolute living breaks out of them, man. You're flipping my flippers if you're telling me that wasn't <laughs> a key decisive win. And we're going to have another one, man, 42 to 18, 42 to 17, I whatever like you want to call it. Like, I think we'll finally crack that 40s. Jason Sanders, make your freaking kicks, please. And, I know. and we'll be fine to go on that Jason end, man. Sanders. I love that. Jason Sanders, is, is. I hope after the bye week he's fine. You know? Hopefully, yeah, yeah. It's been a little bit. He had a great rookie season too. We um, paid him, bro. I know, I know. Anyway, but that, that's why I like this. That was my favorite part of last week's game. Is that like I thought that was just a smooth football game. You know what I mean? It wasn't anything too chaotic. Exactly. It wasn't like anything crazy happened, but smooth, easy blowout. You know what I mean? It was just like we went out there, we played football better than they did. And we won. And that was it. And I think hopefully we can put another performance like that on the table this week against the struggling Texans team. And I feel good about that. I feel good about that. I feel freaking <laughs> great about that. Absolutely, positively amazing about it, man. Uh, anything else about the Dolphins that really catches your eye? or You know, I was – I mean, the run game has been the biggest thing for me, honestly. Um because I, I had always felt that it wasn't at its – not at its full potential. It just, like, wasn't there. You know what I mean? It really wasn't a key part of the offense. I don't know if it was Chase Edmonds or I don't know if it was they needed to get used to the system or whatever it was. But I think we've seen major strides. Jeff Wilson's familiar with McDaniel. He's been in the backfield with Mostert before. Um Phenomenal move, man. A phenomenal move, and so far it's been paying off. Again, they've both been making each other better. The offensive line has picked it up tremendously. They've had, like, some huge holes. Brandon Shell is that yeah, man, yeah. baby. They've had Get some, Shell shocked. They've had some huge holes to run through. So shout out to the offensive line, especially with people doubting them. Uh, shout out to the offensive line. You know, they're there. That's what I want to talk about. Offensive line. You've done a great job the past couple of weeks. Uh Hopefully you keep gelling with the system. Everything keeps working together. You know what I mean? And we just see more of what we've seen the past couple of weeks. Yeah, that's all we can hope for, man. Like, if we keep this offensive line play, I think we're still, like, in the 20s, maybe 24th. But we were 32nd last weeks, year, though, man. The past two weeks, yeah. though, has been great. Well, that's what I was going to say. Like, it's 
you got to realize that it's because we've had a lot of roster turmoil with the yeah. offensive line. Like we've had Austin Jackson going down, Greg Little going down, us like Toronto Armstead a bit being a little weird, Liam Eikenberg out for the year. But this new unit that we have out there, it seems to be the chosen five, you know. Hopefully. The five rings of power, baby. <laughs> These kids have them all strapped up, oh, ready to go, man. I love what I'm seeing from the line right now. I love it for the run game. It's awesome for the pass game. It's at least enough time for Tua to negotiate some some pocket space yeah. and just make the freaking play. And I love that. We've got an MVP season coming from Tua. He's been making the plays. I mean, he has just straight up been making the plays. <laughs> My friend, bro, he's tied at the first in almost every, <laughs> every single passing crazy. statistic. And he's missed a couple games. I understand that, but it just understates how valuable this game That's is. That's what I was saying. It just shows how valuable to a man is, bro. It's insane. It's always my, my favorite stat to tell people is we simply put, every game that to has played, we've won. And every game where he hasn't played, we've lost. It's as simple as that. Um, one of my favorite, like, it shows the value. Like you said, you're talking valuable player. That's how, I think that's how you see value right there. That's the definition of value, man. Um, <laughs> it's between him and Mahomes for the MVP case, man. If we were, we're at seven and three right now. Long season. Long still, season. Still so a lot left. <laughs> I've got five and two after the bye week. You know, I think that, you know, win over the Texans, mm-hmm. go at least one and two over that stretch in the at, at San Francisco 49ers, LA Chargers, Buffalo Bills, that three game road That's stretch. A tough, yeah, yeah. And it puts it two and two and then win the last three games of the season at home versus the Packers, in Foxborough versus the Patriots, and then Jets, at home right? against the Jets. Uh-huh. Five and two will put us at 12 and five. I think in a beautiful spot. Yeah. That sounds like a beautiful spot to me. I mean, it looks good whether that's the lead of the division or the first wild card 12 and 5 in a playoff spot. Sounds good to me. Can yeah. you like that? That felt weird coming out of my mouth. I've never been able to say that 12 and 5. Oh man. What are you talking about? I know, man. Like, <laughs> I, I went on, I went on a, the fact that it's possible for the Dolphins. Dude, the fact that it's possible <laughs> that you can really go down the rabbit hole if you want to and like fans know. The tinfoil hat's MS <laughs> right now, but we'll, we'll fit a, some around my head. <laughs> yeah. If we go to the Super Bowl, man. Oh, don't talk about that. That's what I'm saying. You can go down that rabbit hole sometimes if you want. The reason the hat is broken is because I went and that's flung not, it down like that. Man. That's for another day. That's for, for another, another day. day. But that's the kind of hole, you, rabbit hole you're going to go down with the Dolphins, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I think playoff spot at this point, we've readjusted a hope thing. How deep can we go into the playoffs, man? I AFC know, Championship. I, I, I want to see us win some playoff games. AFC Absolutely. Championship, I think, is what is the new. Me- I yeah. hope so. I really hope so. And and you know what? Again, I feel confident in the team. Like a different level of confidence. I'm ready to go. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's go. Let's rock with it, man. I love that. <laughs> hey, man. Final thoughts. I, those those were my final thoughts. I love to hear. I'm that, ready man. to go. Let's do it. Fins up, baby. Fins up, baby. Thank you for coming, Spencer. It's it's always a pleasure, man. Spence, my guy. You know we've been there since the American <laughs> since the American Heritage Day, man. This is the guy who helped cover that little awesome dream team <laughs> with the little Sony Michelle, Isaiah McKenzie, Brian Burns, bro, Pat Sertain Jr. Like what a sick freaking high school team, man. <laughs> Won two three team. state championships, two with Sony and Isaiah, like. We were freaking absolute dog that's monsters, That's a crazy bro. team. Crazy Four absolute NFL team. NFL starters. Yeah. Dude, we had a couple first-rounders in that year alone. And the backups. You know what Marco I'm saying? Marco Wilson's now in the NFL. Yeah, Marco uh, Wilson. Ty Campbell's on the NFL now. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, who's Nick, on the Nick guy Eubanks in the Browns? Briefly, you know, Anthony Schwartz. Anthony in Schwartz, NFL, yeah, you know, yeah. Third-rounder for the Browns. Like, that was a crazy team, guys. Our team's 66-8, to eight, baby, in Florida. There's real football. None of this. None of this little – Oklahoma or like Minnesota football, bro. Like we play in Florida football out here, baby. None of this fake low class football like Texas or California. Like Texas. You know, real South Florida <laughs> yeah. football, baby. Hell yeah. Champions. Hell so yeah. Spencer, thanks for that. <laughs> you know, my guy. Thanks the, for having epic me. Epic chemistry, bro. And yeah, yeah, absolutely. you want to hear more of us, bro. You can always check us out at the Fumble Brewski, man. The Fumble Brewski is where it's at, man. I'll put it up on a little banner right yes. here. Yes. It's always a fun time, guys. Spence, talk a little bit about it. Yes, absolutely. You can follow us on Twitter. You can see us on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe, please. We talk football every week there at the Fumble Brewski. Cover the whole NFL 
It's always a good time every week. We just released our Thanksgiving special, the first ever Fumble Brewski Thanksgiving special. So, yeah, have some turducken, grab a brew, and check out the Fumble Brewski. Thank you for having me. Always a pleasure to be on Nando Talk. I'm excited to hopefully be back again in the future. I'll see you guys then. Hey, Spencer, <laughs> it is always a pleasure to have you on, man. And I hope you guys enjoyed this epic special episode of the Fumble of Nando Talk. <laughs> Meets the Fumble Brewski. Meets the Fumble With my boy Spencer, bro. Go. We've had a couple of brewskis, honestly, is what it is. But always <laughs> a great time, guys. Hey, check it out there. If you like Nando Talk as well, you can like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe on any Fumble Brewski episode as well. <laughs> and check us both out on Twitter, man, for some great Dolphins vibes, some great football vibes. And I hope you guys enjoy your Thanksgiving, man. Yes, happy Thanksgiving. Happy, happy Thanksgiving.